Welcome to another tutorial. Today I show you how to make an easy tongue rig for any 3D character when you already got a tongue. First in object mode we hide our character and then we hide also the teeth, the upper and lower jaw. And then we select the armature. Go to wireframe mode. And in edit mode, select the head bone. Shift D, duplicate. And shrink it down the head bone. And place it over here. Where is the tongue? And then the right panel here, we name this bone tongue base. And then we select this part here and rotate the bone in the direction of the tongue. And change it here at the root part a little bit. Then we select this part here and E, extrude. And one more time, E, extrude. Now we get three bones here for our tongue. And place this part here directly in front on the tip. And this we can change a little bit. And also here. Good. Then we select the bone in the middle here. And then we name it tongue mid. We select the other bone here and name it tongue tip. And then we select the tongue base bone, holding shift, selecting the head bone, and with control P, keep offset. And then when we go to pose mode, can give it a try and we can move around the head with G. Now you can see here that we get a well connection here with the tongue base bone. And then we go back to edit mode, select the base bone and then in pose mode go to the constraints here and we're adding a limit scale constraint. Then we make a check here at minimum, minimum x direction. And here also at maximum x direction. <coughs> and on z minimum and z maximum. And here we change it into a local space. Maximum here. One. And also here. The Z direction one. 
same thing here at maximum. One X and one at Z. And now let's give it a try. You can see here when we scale this part now, the tongue scales only in front. So we can show the tongue, or the character can show the tongue to other people. That works pretty fine now. And the same thing now we do with the other two bones. I can scale, can rotate, and if you want to go back to the base position, select the armature, and then with Alt R is for rotation, then Alt G is for location, and Alt S this is for scale, for undo the scale, okay? And then we have to make some changes because we don't want to affect the other bones when we rotate or scale one bone. So here we change this inherit scale and inherit rotation into none and uncheck and do this with every bone. You can give it a try here when we scale a bone, we scale only the base bone. Same thing here with the other bones. Scale and let's give it a try with rotation. And you can see here, this also works pretty fine. And then we go to object mode, select the tongue and holding shift, select the armature and parent with automatic weights. Select the armature and go to pose mode. Give it a try. You can see here, you can scale and rotate. works pretty fine. You can see here something with the weighting, but we can fix this. You can see here everything works very nice, scale and rotation. Only with one bone we have to fix the weighting. And it looks like the base bone here. A look. You can see here. There's something we have to fix with the weighting. Go to the extreme position here, up and down. You see it looks like it is weighted here with the jawbone. Let's give it a try. Now select the tongue here. And go to the weight paint mode. So we go here to the vertex groups and the bone we need is head 001. See that the subtract brush is activated and now let's paint over the tongue and you can see here that it works. Just a little bit more here on top. Select the armature. Back to pose mode. Select 
everything, Alt R, Alt G, and let's give it a try. I can see there, it works pretty fine without any problems. And here we can control now our tongue with the bones, but we can do it much easier with bone shapes. At first, we're adding a new collection here. And then we hide the collection with the first collection with our character and armature. With Shift A, we're adding a new circle. Then we go to edit mode. And with Shift D, we duplicate this circle. RX rotate around 90 degree, RX 90, Shift D duplicate, and then with R and Z we rotate it 90 degree. Now we get this shape here. We select everything. and place it here. Then we're adding a mirror modifier. The modifier tab and adding a mirror. Now we get the same thing on the other side. Then we activate clipping and select this vertice here. Go to front view and with E extrude and move it here in the middle. Now we get this easy bone shape here and go to object mode. and name it Tongue Shape. And then activate the collection number one. In front view here, we can scale the shape a little bit down. And with G, place it here. Then here, go to pose mode. And then open collection one. And here we can hide the character now. So hide the duplicate character that we used in another tutorial. Now we select the tongue base and go to this bone option here and go to viewport display custom object select this pipette tool here and click on the tongue shape now you can see we got the shape here on our tongue on our tongue base bone click on wireframe We change the scale here into 0.5. We can change the scale or size here a little bit from the shape and select the mid bone. Here we do the same thing. Select the pipette tool and click on the tongue shape. You can see we got another shape here. To wireframe, change the scale into 0.5. Go to the tongue tip bone, select the pipette tool and click on the tongue shape, activate wireframe, scale 0 0.5. Let's hide the upper jaw and now let's give it a try here, you can see 
You see it much better. Change from display as octahedral into stick bone. You can see here scale and rotation works pretty fine from every part of the tongue. At the moment I'm working on a professional character course in character design and rigging. It will bring your skills to the next level. And when the course is ready, you will find a link in the video description. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you, bye!